an inmate who is um, on, how do you say, a death row. Not death row records. He's, he's on death row. Okay, and he killed a well-known family in Richmond, Virginia, New Year's Day back in 2006. Okay, so he was tried for the murders. Uh, he killed a uh, husband, a wife, their nine-year-old, four-year-old uh, daughters, and he received the death penalty. Okay, so he's scheduled to be. What he broke in their house? Did he break in their house? Yeah, and um. Uh, he's scheduled to receive the lethal injection next month. Mm. Okay? He's filed a motion to stop his execution. Uh, and instead of lethal injection, receiving the needle, he prefers a firing squad. So, I mean, the, the uh, lethal injection for Virginia, I mean, that's, that's, how, they, that's mm -hmm. how they do it. So he... Uh, he, a, just, he just want to stand there with a fucking yeah. So he wants to be eyes, he want, and, and he be just shot. Want them to shoot. Yeah, yeah. So um. Well. So so my my question is: Do you think that people who have received the death penalty should get the option to pick and choose how they go? No. 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 Did these people have to pick and choose how they die? Yeah. No. See, some people think that lethal injection is too easy for criminals because, uh, you know, it's just they, they get a lot of different drugs in the system. And, um, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's, it can kind of linger, though. So you may not die right away. Um, isn't, it's, it's called die slowly. Yeah. And so with, with the, I think with the, with the firing squad, it's kind of like they're going to shoot him and he's going to be gone. Right. You know what I mean? He's going to so be they, dead. They, they, they want him to. Feel the pain. Feel right. the pain. Feel it. Because at the end of the day, are we humane, imagine what though? them people, imagine what them people and them children felt like, you know, dying when you shot them or stabbed them or whatever you did to them. That's not right. It's not fair. It's not fair. You need to die slow. So you think that we should torture him? Yeah, basically what you're saying. He killed children. He 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 killed children. Yeah, so so you're saying an eye for an eye. I'm a mother. And I, I feel for I mean, they are children. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So in Virginia, they give them the option of lethal injection or electric chair. Let me extra. You get those question. two options. He wants option C, uh, firing squad. But let me. There is no firing squad. Yeah, I just, I, I it's, it's kind of weird. I wouldn't want the electric chair though. I, I would not want the I electric chair. I wouldn't want chair. that either. I think but I, I, let me ask I wouldn't want to be shot though. I just, but what, what, what did he do? What did he broke in the house and try to rob them or something? Uh, yeah, I how think, old was he at that time? Um, I mean, I don't know his age at the time. Why? Why is that? You you think? I mean, he was older. He's not. He's not a kid. Yeah, he's not. He's he's not a kid. Um, but they his lawyers are trying to get them to commute commute the sentence to life initially. I mean, they're trying to play a lot of games and try to, you know, normally you try to play games and try to slow it down. No, no, wait. I'm saying, oh no, no, no rehabilitate it. So it's been ten years. He's black, by the way, so you know, uh, I, I don't. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I, I don't, I don't really don't care exactly what they do to him because at the end of the day, he just killed these people. Well, let, let me let me say this, and so part of his, I don't know if, if the right word is defense, but his lawyers are trying to say that the jurors did not get enough background on him and his uh, history of uh, sexual. He was a sexual abuse victim, uh, you know, as a child, and. Uh, that resulted in drug use, and so you know his his background. They're trying to say was, was rough. But it's always places for people that's like him to go. Yeah, yeah. It's always a mental institution that you can put yourself in and get yourself some help. If you feel like that your life is going that way, not that way, that way, right. then you need to go get yourself some help. If that don't give you no reason to go break in somebody's house and kill these people and their children, plain and simple, flat out. Right. right. I'm sorry, that's just my opinion. I got opinion. You get to what you deserve. You get what you deserve. Um, Some people believe what, why, why don't you do this? Turn turn up number four, mm -hmm. um, and come a little closer to the mic. Um, so, do we believe in death penalty? That's fine. And so we'll, we'll finish off on this topic. Um, you know, it, it's tricky for me. Come you know, come closer over here. You don't have to be in a, in a shot, but I just want to make sure people hear you because you 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 have some very interesting opinions on that. Um, I think for certain crimes, it is definitely something that should be on the table. 
But my issue is, is we have to be very, very sure that you are guilty of whatever so you, the crime is. So do you think is. that he's guilty? Do you think he deserved that? Uh, if he if he killed four people, two children, two children. adults, mm-hmm. I'm gonna probably say yeah. But like I said, I don't. I didn't follow the full case, uh, you know, in in 2006. So I don't. I don't know what all the evidence was. But just because some lawyers and some police officers say he did it, that doesn't necessarily mean that he did it. But uh, so I would have to take it a case by case. Right now, certain states have it. Certain states don't. Some people mm-hmm. feel that they should get life in prison. So how do you know they case. did it? They go, as a video camera? It's definitely not a video camera. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, I, I don't know. I just, for instance, um, the, the white supremacist that shot and killed the nine people in the church. Oh okay. God, um, now he, you know, he was found guilty today. I think that in that instance, and when you do mass killings, mm-hmm. you, you know, almost 10 people or more than mm-hmm. 10 people and. Uh, movie theater, you know uh, that type of stuff. Or school. Or school. Yeah, I think that's. I think that's off the table. Um, you definitely should should get that. I think so too. But it depends on where you live too. So you can live some of them places where they don't play that. South yeah, in the he South. In South they don't play that in the South. They don't play in South but he's a white guy though. And that's true. That's the that's the thing that I kind of don't understand. Like they try to say that he had mental problems and stuff like that. So they so they tried to say that he wasn't fit to stand trial, which I don't think was right. And he's but trying to represent himself. Exactly. Which, which means he's crazy. He, no, he wasn't crazy. He was well- He has a bob. Listen, everybody everybody could play crazy. I play crazy every day. But you're not going to go and shoot no motherfucker because you Girl, let me tell you something. I did freedom, Let me right? tell you something. I did them 30 days in jail and I ain't going back. All right? It ain't cute. It's cold. Baby. And... It ain't for me. So no, days not. Thirty days is different from. That's a different. I, it doesn't yeah. even matter. Thirty yeah. days felt like it was like parole for my I ass. Because I, I was away from my child. You understand? Know I'm, I'm saying I was away from my child. I was away from my business. I was away from my home. I just was away from everything for thirty days, and it felt like life, life. for it felt me. Like life. It did. It felt like life, and I would yeah. never do it again. I don't. Mm-mm. But. I don't care. They all wrong. I don't care if you go up and shoot up a school, if you go shoot up a church, if you go shoot up anybody, period. It's just wrong. So you think if you take a life, your life should be taken? I'm not. I'm just I'm, straight off the bat. I mean, I think it depends on circumstances. You can have self defense. Let's see, say listen, that I, I see. I can't I was, say that. Let's say that we were dating. I can't say that we got into a fight. Let's say we say, say mm-hmm. we were dating. We got into a fight. Say I hit you. Say you hit me back. Say I hit you. You fell. You hit your head and you died. Right, I'm not should saying, I go? Should I get a death penalty? No, you shouldn't. But I'm not saying that everybody. I'm. You heard me clearly yeah. stated that if you go and shoot up a school, okay. you go shoot up a church, a movie theaters. Now, them people, yeah. I think, deserved it because at the end of the day, them like like the, the gay people that set the ball. Yeah, they, oh, them, these people don't night, deserve to die. Club in Orlando, that Absolutely, these that people so doesn't scary. deserve to die. So, so at the end of the day, if you talking about something like that, then no. Yeah. If I'm defending myself and I'm getting raped and this man just all on me just. Abusing me and raping me, and I just find a knife or something on a piece of clay and start stabbing him. No, I'm defending myself. So serial killers, or or serial rapists. Let's say that the people are not dead; they were raped. Child rapists deserve the death penalty. Child rapists. That's the death penalty. Child rapists and murder, and then you murder the child. I'm a firm. You know what they need? They need about ten big ass niggas on his ass. Like fat hour type? No. no. Muscle ways niggas and just straight <laughs> dick them in his ass. Okay. Those are the types that... Like Debo that asshole. That's it's like you rape this child and somebody here, need to rape here's, his here's, ass. Let me play devil's advocate for a minute and we got to get out of here. What What do you get from the death? You don't You don't bring the... Per, you can't bring the person back, right? Let's say that, that they don't kill the people. They just rape them and damage them mentally. Killing the person, or even if you, even if the person's dead, killing the person, what does that do? Does that say, huh? The family's not gonna feel better. Well, the family. What do you get out but of? But you it? know what? The family should already feel fucked up if you already did what you did. Mm-hmm. Well, so either well, way, they're gonna be fucking even mad at him. Or they, that's just and mad at and mad justice. at the systems. May he, they mad at they mad at the person that you know their family member. They mad at justice. I mean, I'm just saying they just mad at it all. So Ke- Keisha said that um, they get closure. 
there's no such thing as closure as far as like a death because you can't bring that person back. No matter if Correct. the person dies or life without parole, there is no such thing as closure because you're still going to... It's an open it's, wound. It's going to always be an open wound until you die. Right. I agree with that. Um, but the way it is now, it's going to go by what the states say. Um, what is that? What, what is that bottom comment? Say I can't. It's a bit much. Yeah. It says the person can't hurt anyone else. Also, not wasting taxpayers' dollars. That's a lie because the death penalty costs millions of dollars. That's a lie. Okay. So okay. So I mean, that's 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 interesting. That's that's uh, that's interesting thought. But they're gonna end up right down in jail anyway. Exactly. It's like it's life without parole. That's a slow torture right there. I'm so, I'm not even talking about that. Somebody's gonna be able to get you and stab you up in there. In jail. Oh, you gonna end up killing yourself. You gonna end up killing yourself. You want he? That's just basically what it is. So, all right. So uh, that was that was very interesting. Yeah, we did a little different spin on things today. I'm glad that you could sit here with your uh, bunny <laughs> I don't ears. Know nothing about none of that stuff. I just well, watched. you had you you had a lot of um you had a lot of opinions though. Yeah, I mean, but you I say watching, I mean you um, live life, so you know about yeah, life. Yeah, I do. But, I be yeah, I be watching that channel, and I watch a little bit of the stuff. You know, I don't know too much about it because that's not my field. Oh, she wants. But to. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you my opinion. You can you you can call in on Lush's show, Keisha. You see, Keisha, say. yeah, because yeah, I would love to have heard her opinion. So she because you know she can she can talk. <laughs> yeah. 